All right, have you ever heard of the metabolic syndrome? Apparently it affects nearly 30% of the population and doctors say it increases the risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. However, stay with me, researchers from the Salk Institute and the UC San Diego School of Medicine discovered something that might help prevent that all together. Here now to talk more about that from the Salt Institute is Professor. Uh, we've got Dr. Sachin Panda with us. Welcome. Hi. Well, Nothing. first of all, explain to me what this metabolic syndrome is because I'm assuming it's not just what happens to women over 40 that our metabolism stop. <laughs> no, it's uh, as you said, metabolic syndrome affects almost one in three adults in the U.S. And uh, the symptoms are maybe overweight, obesity, particularly belly fat, and high blood sugar, high blood cholesterol, and high blood pressure. I mean, you're really describing a bulk of the population. I mean, let's yeah. be fair. Yes. Right? So almost uh, anyone who is watching it uh, may know someone who has one of these symptoms. Okay, so you had a study done at the Salk Institute. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so this study was done in collaboration with Dr. Pam Taub, a cardiologist at the UC San Diego Health. Uh, for over seven years, we knew in animal studies that if animals eat all their food within 10 hours window, then they are protected from metabolic syndrome. And we wanted to see whether it really works in human. So we, we did this study only on 19 metabolic syndrome patients. This is the first step to see whether it works in a small population of patients. And did it? So these 19 patients went through a three months, um, what we call 10 hours time restricted eating. It's also popularly called intermittent fasting. So people had to, the only recommendation we had was they had to choose their own 10 hours and eat all their food within that 10 hours every day consistently. They cannot just move that 10 hours window. And to help them track uh, when they're eating, they, can, they could also use an app called My Circadian Clock. And anyone in the world can actually go to the website, My Circadian Clock website, sign up and use the app. So within 12 weeks, after 12 weeks when we brought these patients, um, we saw many uh, improvements. One thing I must tell you is most of these patients were already taking at least one medication to control their blood um, cholesterol or blood pressure, but they were not getting enough benefit from the medication. But after 12 weeks, what was surprising was almost all of them lost some weight, mostly their belly fat, and many of them, they controlled their blood pressure much better, their blood cholesterol also lower. A uh, few of them, 12 out of 19, also had high blood sugar in the morning, and they saw significant improvement in their blood sugar. So we are very excited about this study. Talk to me about the science. I mean, if you're saying that people needed medication to regulate things like blood sugar uh, and high cholesterol, and yet when they restricted their eating to a 12-hour window and stayed with that consistently every day, what does that do from a science level inside our bodies? So most of these diseases happen because our organs slowly get wear and tear and then they get damaged. But um, we humans, just like animals, uh, we have this inbuilt mechanism called circadian rhythm. So that means within 24 hours, we can we have programmed to eat only for a certain number of hours, maybe 8, 9, 10, or 12. And then our body needs that downtime, somewhere from 12 to 16 hours downtime, when the body can repair itself. Uh, unlike we have to take our car to repair itself, the body actually repairs itself. So by doing this 10 hours time restricted eating, our patients could kind of reactivate this primordial repair program that's in our, that's inbuilt. And that's how they saw this improvement. That's incredible. But what you eat during that uh, 12 hour window is important, right? 12 or 10 hour? It's 10 hours 10 eating hours. and 14 Look at, I'm trying to negotiate. <laughs> Can you give me 12? No, okay, so 10 hour window, what you eat in that window is still key though, right? Well, what happens is uh, unknowingly people change their behavior because when you stop eating say at 7 or 8 in the evening then you are not uh, reaching out for that extra glass of wine late mm. night and then all the snacks that go with it. Mm -hmm. So they reduce their alcohol
alcohol and snack consumption that improves the nutrition quality. And then since they are going through 14 hours of no food, in the morning they are very hungry, so they have a big breakfast. And we know that bigger breakfast in the morning is much better for our health because our pancreas that helps us control our blood glucose is much, is much more alert and can better control glucose if we eat a bigger meal in the morning. It's incredible because, you know, I mean, diets, we, we know with Atkins and keto and uh, every every newest, latest, greatest craze, I remember one that seemed to be so popular was grazing. You know, don't eat meals, don't eat full meals, just eat every two hours. And you're saying this is completely the opposite and has other health benefits as well. Well, uh, there is truth to many of these. So, for example, when, um, we, when people are told that you have to eat small meals in every two hours. That's actually good for people who have diabetes and cannot control their blood glucose. But we should not feel that what is good for a patient is also good for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Second is, uh, when uh, people are told that you have to eat in every two hours, they didn't mean to say that uh, from the time you wake up till <laughs> you go to bed, <laughs> you should eat in every two hours. Oh, good um, point. And then the nice thing about this 10 hours eating and fasting is this is how we we are designed for last 200,000 years. Right. Uh, we are designed to eat in this pattern. So it's in our DNA. So this is the nature's most primordial diet plan. Very intriguing. The app one more time is called My Circadian Rhythm. My Circadian Clock. Clock. My Circadian Clock. And anybody can download it and follow what the guidelines are. Yeah. And on the website, we have a ton of information about the science behind it. Love it. And uh, to help people actually adopt this eating plan. Incredible. Well, Dr. Panda, I appreciate the fact you didn't take away the wine. You just said <laughs> <laughs> no wine and snacks outside of that 10-hour period. Thank you so much for coming in and talking Thank to us. Thank you today. so much. Uh